Now, I know this isn't your general run-of-the-mill moose videos where you guys get like a crack gameplay of like an FPS game. It's really just me hopping on camera and I just really wanted to share this story because I thought it was so funny and I could not stop laughing at it for probably about 10 minutes last night when I was just in bed. Now, I don't know if you guys heard, but there is a super villain running around in Montgomeryville, Pennsylvania, USA. And what this goofball has been doing to some employees at an escape room is truly something that grew from Despicable Me wouldn't even think about doing. Now, it has been said that he has done this so many times before, which makes it even more hysterical. Basically, this dude has been going to this escape room and just really messing with the employees by locking the front door <laughs> together so they can't get out. And this dubious little creature <laughs> will, will slide through a piece of paper <laughs> through the slit of the doors. <laughs> and it will be, it'll be a riddle to unlock the door and give them a clue as to what the combination is. <laughs> This dude is actually the Riddler in real life. I, I really just got to know his origin story as to why he is doing exactly what he is doing. Because truly, this dude is the most devious creature I think I have ever seen on the internet. And his story has to be told for generations to come because this is the most harmless yet hysterical prank of all time. It's really worth noting that the people who are involved in uh, this prank, aka the workers, they're really not impressed with what's been going on. Truthfully, they've, they've really had enough of it and they don't find any amusement at all. The vast majority do. Like the people watching it, obviously, myself included, I think it's super funny and don't think it's like really that harmful. I think that they make a really good point about um, there are real safety concerns when it comes to something like this as well. I'm not saying it's not a bit excessive to, to be complaining about this, but it, it really does feel like there are some sort of safety concerns if there isn't like a back door or something out of this building. One of the workers there actually said that, uh, she worked as a fire marshal in, uh, Pennsylvania before the job at the escape room and under the state law, supposedly the law states that this is unlawful entrapment as well as risking somebody else's life in case of a fire. Now, I personally don't know all of the fire laws. I'm not an expert in Pennsylvania when it comes to the fire depot or what laws and stipulations they have for the municipality of, you know, Montgomeryville. But if that is the case, that is definitely justifiable. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a stretch, to be honest with you. I, I, I know it can happen. The likelihood of it happening is so, so small. But I do get that there is real risks with what this guy was doing. With that being said, I feel like a whole lot of buildings nowadays, especially ones in those big complexes, they are generally built with a multiple back doors if like one guaranteed two maybe i know for a fact that at least in canada we have them you see them going by on the on the back every single time you drive by one of these stores they always have back doors so i don't really think that that's uh but i don't really think that that's a real legitimate cause for concern in this case i don't know i'm i don't personally work at this place but i totally can understand why there would be cause of concern if there is no like other escape or way out. But I just want to point something out really quickly while we watch back the video. This guy has the most devious and just malicious smile on his face and he does it with such haste and they even because he's done it before obviously and I wonder how even the first time that this absolute goofball of a human Figured he was just going to go ahead and do this to the escape room managers and employees. I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe he had a bad experience there one day. Maybe he was trapped in and they didn't give him enough time. You know, maybe they maybe they took his 15 bucks and cut him 15 minutes short on the full hour. And he they were like, no, you're not getting any of the balloons back. And he's like, well, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to come by with a bike lock and <laughs> I'm going to lock you guys in here. So good luck with all that. This prank was so maliciously thought out and everybody, it's so funny because you see the body language of the people in the video and they are quite literally <laughs> like waiting for this guy. As soon as they see him, dude, the manager or the, or the employee or whoever's working there just bolts to the door. It is the most insane thing. And this guy is just running around with the craziest smile on his face. It is absolutely insane. I'm going to pause it. And we're going to look at the video right here. Look at the face. 
This is the face of an absolute super villain. This genius, this mega mind level villain. <laughs> After he squeaks in that little piece of paper through the crack, he has the biggest smile on his face, and it is the funniest thing ever. Look at look at the body language. Look at the body language of the manager. She is so over it. Dude, she is so she is so pissed off. It is so good. So yeah. Anyways, um, that's it. I just really wanted to talk about how this super villain was created. I really got to know his origin story. So if anybody knows a backstory on this guy or why he's going around tormenting these poor escape room employees, I just got to know. I don't know if it's like every escape room, if he's walking between, you know, multiple escape rooms in the in the Montgomery area and he's going escape room, escape room business, and he's just walking every single door. If it's this one in particular that he has quarrels with, I don't know, but I really got to know. So if anybody knows why, I need you, you leave a comment down, okay? You leave a comment. You tell me so I can figure this out for myself. Don't get used to this style of video. I don't know. I mean, I just figured I would hop on here and just make a funny video because I just thought it was super enjoyable. Um, yeah, that's all I really got. Later.